Hi uh, guys, gonna do a quick video today about uh, uh, the uh, new Phantom 4 that just released last week and uh, see if it's a good idea to upgrade your uh, Phantom 3 or not. So, uh, if you're watching uh, my channel, you probably know that uh, I had the DJI, the Phantom 1, the Phantom 2, and the Phantom 3 standard. I purchased the Phantom 3 standard last year, and I'm pretty pleased with it. It's not the best, but for the price, I think that it's the uh, definitely a good option for me and for people that just fly for fun and it's not a business or anything, it's just a hobby. So, I'm going to compare today the Phantom 4 and the Phantom 3 and see if it's a good idea to upgrade to a Phantom 4. So, as today, the Phantom 4 sells for 1399 and the Phantom 3 standard sells for Four ninety nine, so five hundred, fourteen hundred, and you can get a Phantom Three Advance for seven ninety nine and a Pro for mm, a thousand. So let's look at the uh, what you get with that. Uh, the Phantom Four is supposedly made for aerial photography and cinematography. So basically, all of those. Basically, I compared those to. Uh, uh, a flying tripod, so it's basically a camera up in the air. It's definitely, definitely not for uh, fun flying. For fun flying, I fly my mini quads, my racer type, and those ones are definitely fun. When I fly the Phantom, it's basically to take an aerial photography or something. So, well, I think for me, the camera is the big thing for the Phantom. So supposedly this is eye level blah 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 and this one's for beginner. Beginner or not, I've been flying RC for 15 years and I'm really happy with that and basically it's for the camera so plenty for me. In the box you get the Phantom 4, you get the 3 axis uh, gimbal, you get the camera, it's a 4K 12.5. 4 megapixel photo, you get the DJI library video downloading good for 5k and you get a battery 5350 mAh 4S battery. The Phantom 3 standard you get a 2.4 Wi-Fi video downloading good for 1k. Uh, if you watch my video or you should go watch my video on my uh, my uh, channel I did 2.2 with uh, Phantom 3 standard and really 2.2 it's more than typically what you're supposed to do in a way because most countries you're supposed to keep line of sight so the only way I can keep line of sight with uh, my Phantom at 2.2k is via uh, binocular because you, you cannot see it with your own eyes and the battery you get 4S 4480 mAh which give me 20 they say 25 minutes of flight time but usually I get more like 23 minutes the Phantom Pro is supposed to get 28 minutes but I suspect it would be more like maybe 25 we'll see as the video is gonna start to pop up aircraft it's all the same 350 350 weight of the Phantom 4 1.3 almost 1.4 kilogram. The Phantom 3 standard is 1.2, so it's a bit lighter. Batteries, we talked about that. The charger is 100 watt. This one's 57 watt, so definitely this one's gonna charge faster. But anyway, when I charge, most likely I charge before the night before and I'm ready for the day, so it's not really a big deal. I got two batteries, so I can do both. 45 minutes of flight time. Again, 28 minutes, 25 minutes. So it's more like 23 in this one. I suspect 25. We'll see. Speed 20 meters per second, 16. 
again it's a flying cameo so the speed's not really big deal for me if I do follow something it's maybe somebody walking or something slow so definitely it's fast enough for what I need to do obstacle sensing this one get optical sensor if it see an obstacle it's gonna stop this one get nothing so basically you fly and if you see something with your own eyes or via your iPad mini or something you stop and you don't hit it so <laughs> don't fly to an obstacle if you see it if you don't see it and you hit it well, maybe you should not be flying those. Uh, GPS. GPS, you get GPS on all of them. The Phantom 4, you get the Glonus dual position module, so it's probably better, but definitely. Usually when I fly, I get maybe 10 GPS, so definitely it's holding good position, and that's all I need. Camera. Uh, the camera on the new one is basically the same as the uh, Phantom 3 Pro and it's basically the same resolution plus or minus so it's about the same and uh, video resolution of the Phantom 3 standard is 2.7k at 30 frames per second usually that's the uh, the mode I use and uh, you can get 1920 by 1080, 24, 25, 30, and I got an update on mine. I, I can do 60 for me possible, but usually I, I shoot on 2.7k, and it's definitely plenty for me for what I do. It's plenty. Lens, fill of view, 94 degree, all of them. Filter ring, this one, the Phantom 4 U. I don't know if it come with it, but you can use them. The Phantom 3 standard, I think you can purchase some, but I'm not using some, so it's good enough. Return to home button on the controller on the Phantom 4, the Phantom 3, you get it on the Phantom 3 standard. You don't get it, but you can basically do it via your iPad, or you can flip the left up switch. I think it's two or three times and it's gonna return home. Basically, if I do return home, it's because I lost signal, it's gonna fly and come back. Video recording button? Yes, yes, no. Again, I do it via the app. I do everything via the app, so even if I don't get any of those options, I'm not limited. I can do the whole thing on the app. <coughs> so again, for distance, my best one is 2.2 on the uh, Phantom 3 standard, it's definitely plenty. Usually I stay within 1K, 1.5K, so that's more than what I need. They all use the app uh, DJI Go, so all the, all the same. And the Phantom 4 get more options. You get the tap fly, if you watch a video from DJI you know what it is. Active track and the rest is basically the same as the Phantom 3 Pro or Standard. So again, tap fly. I can do it myself easily. I can fly good enough that I can do definitely a good. Uh, I can film a subject and I can do real good. And I don't need an app to uh, do it for me. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. In the uh, following this, I'm gonna make a, a bit of a aerial shot of the Phantom uh, 3 standard, and you can see what uh, the camera looks like up in the air. And I'm gonna fly my ZMR 180 around it to uh, give you a sense of uh, what it is to fly a mini quad. That uh, lots of fun. So if you never try a mini quad, uh, give it a try. It's lots of fun. So I hope this is going to help you to make a decision if you should get a Phantom 4 or maybe upgrade from a Phantom 3. If you have the money, maybe go for it. It's definitely a good uh, quad for sure. They, they really improve as they go on. And uh, yeah, but uh, I'm not going to upgrade for a moment. So 
I hope this helped you to make a decision. And let's go into uh, live footage. Not live footage, but footage from the Phantom 3 standard and uh, from my ZMR 180. Thank you. So guy, in a nutshell, this is the uh, reason why I still prefer the Phantom 3 standard over the Phantom 4, even if the Phantom 4 is definitely uh, an amazing quad, but uh, I'm going to stick with the Phantom 3 standard for now. If you want to read more on the Phantom 3 standard, and uh, maybe give yourself a uh, an option that maybe this one's the one for you. You can go into my website miniquadreviews.com. You can go down to review, click on this, and you get a complete review of the quad. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this help you uh, to make a choice on. Uh, what uh, quad you're gonna pick the Phantom 4 or the Phantom 3 and uh, like and subscribe to my channel so you can uh, have more video like this and uh, yeah if you like it 
make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, have a good day and uh, fly safe. Bye.